I bet you can think of certain videos that no matter how many times you watch them, they just never ever seem to get old. For me, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've watched the following Jens Hahnemann clip. And without fail, it makes me laugh every single time. So what I'm doing, first of all, with my right hand, I'm doing a lot of what I call a paradiddle-addle-doodle. And that basically goes left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, left, left, right, left, 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 right, 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 left. Okay, so you might want to memorize that for your practicing at home. So you're going to think I have way too much free time. Remember that beat that I played briefly at the beginning of this video? Well, that groove is actually the paradiddle addle applied to the drum set. I basically took the sticking pattern, which of course is left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, left, left, right, left, 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 right, left. Because remember, Jens did say this. Okay, so you might want to memorize that for your practicing at home. So once I had the pattern written out, I made sure to incorporate three things. I used dynamics, I made sure to include the bass drum, and I explored orchestration. And that's just a fancy way of describing the various instruments on the drum set that I played. So here's that groove again, and I'll put the transcription up on the screen. And even though I wrote this out in 15-8, you can also think of this as a bar of 4-4, four, four, followed by a bar of 7-8, which by the way is the same time signature as The Ocean by Led Zeppelin. Or, if you're feeling really adventurous, you could play it the way Jens did, which is in the time signature of 921. On to the next one. The pattern here is a little bit more complicated, but hey, don't take my word for it. The pattern here is a little more complicated. It's a pattern I grew up with when I was learning how to play the drums. It's something that can warm you up a little bit. Once again, paradiddleallogram. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left, right, left, left, right, left, 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 right, 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 right. So this time I decided to use eighth note triplets as my subdivision. Again, I made sure to use dynamics, incorporate the bass drum, and explore orchestration. So here is the paradiddle lillogram applied to the drum set with the transcription. And as far as the time signature goes, even though I wrote this out in 13-4, you can also think of this as two bars of 4-4 four, four, followed by a bar of 5-4. In other words, you can count it like this. One, two, three, four, two, two. Three, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, one. So there you go, two very important yet often neglected drum rudiments, the paradiddle-addle-doodle and the paradiddle-lillogram. Make sure to add these sticking patterns to your drum set vocabulary. Seacrest out! And I can't believe I actually said that, but I think I'm going to leave it in.